All right, Patrick, you're up first. Oh, I am. Number nine, this innovation uh, might not be necessary if everyone goes out and give, gets vaccinated. I don't know in that can of worms, but it's still pretty interesting. It's called Plex Eat. A French designer named Chris Guernagon yeah. came up with it. These are suspended shields. All right. That allow people to safely dine with style. Because that's really what it's yeah, about, yeah, is, yeah. is maintaining style yeah. during a personal <laughs> pandemic, like matching face masks. Right. So that's, right. That became important way too soon yeah. in my book. If, well, if you want to know, I can explain my whole feelings on it. I don't think you do, though. They hang from the ceiling. Plexit is easy to disassemble and clean, and the idea is that you can use it with or without a light in the top section. Yeah. So it's easy to assemble by suspending something from the ceiling? Yeah. I, yeah. And then you have to scrub them out after each yeah. meal. Mm -hmm. and you can't hear the person next to you, <laughs> which might be a blessing. <laughs> it looks great. like a giant lampshade yeah. that suspends from right, the so ceiling. But you look good. Yeah. And isn't that what it's all about? That yeah. is in these days. That's what it's all about. Very true. Yep. All right, number eight, if you're feeling adventurous, here's an idea. Sign up for a mystery cruise from Uniworld Boutique River Cruises. Oh, I love this song. Let's just listen to Sticks for a minute. <sighs> Set an open it is a good song. Ah, always holds up. All right, it'll cost more than $5,000 a person, but it promises to be the trip of a lifetime. Oh, all right. The ship departs June 12th, 20th through the 22nd from a European port, and it will last 10 days. Here's the catch. Mm. Passengers will not know where they're going until they're on and board. I'm out. Yeah, no. The company's CEO says it promises to be an over-the-top bucket list experience both on and off the ship. These low the resolution week. photos really do it justice. <laughs> 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 In the weeks leading up to the trip, they will send clues uh, fun. It's like to, a help, game. to help you prepare to pack. And you can Mad check out Uta World's website for more information. Yeah. I, no. No yeah. surprises. No, I don't need I'm that. Out. Yeah. I mean, Who needs surprises? Would you do that, Paul? You seem like you'd go anywhere. I'll be honest with you. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> I was looking at these photos thinking, how come they're in low resolution? It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. But I got distracted. Well, but yeah, they, I'll go if you need you can me to go. go. They go on a cruise and they don't tell you where you're going. They say it'll be great. Nah. Nah, I'd pass, I'd pass on it, that. Not every place is going to be great. You're going to be rafting down the DuPage River. <laughs> right. that. That's how they get you. Yeah, you pay five thousand dollars. That's how they get you. Uh, oh. All right, uh, number seven. Bicycle locks usually work well, but about 1.5 million bikes get stolen every year. A thief can use a hacksaw to get through the best of locks, but this one will make them think twice. It's called the old skunk lock. Okay. It's a bicycle lock that sprays a chemical on anyone who tries to cut it off. Ooh. The chemical is toxic, toxic <gasps> enough to oh, induce wow. vomiting. Wow. And it's about $170. Oh, that's funny. That might be worth it, right? Yeah, that's, that's a bargain right there. If we do want instant justice. Look at that. Yeah. Mm, weird. Number six, looking for something fun to do this summer. How about? Stalking the cicadas. Scientists are asking for your help. They're hoping regular people will check out the winged creatures and make observations about them. You can record them and you can upload pictures and information to sites like Cicada Safari or Ooh. iNaturalist. Help researchers capture the sound and compare it to others around the country. Isn't this summer supposed to be a Is this one of those the cicada 17 summer? Years in some, some parts yeah, of Yeah, I think so. I've yeah. heard yeah. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. It. Yeah. So beautiful. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, number five, here are some lewd-sounding town names. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Courtesy of Estately. Okay. Yeah, these come, I didn't... Right, you have nothing yeah, to do with this. Yeah, I just cobbled together this, this yeah, list. Yeah, these the come messenger. from all over the country. Over in Washington State, there's hump tulips. Okay. Well, that one's ah. not bad. Uh, then there's Keister, Minnesota. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I say Keister, Minnesota. And uh, on, let's yeah. see. can I have oh, no. Keister, oh, Minnesota? See let's see. They get let's it? see if they got it back. Let's just see how long this takes. Come on. You want me no. to just wait? Yeah, yeah let's wait. What do we have to do? No, Danny, the floor director's telling me I got to go. Keep no. moving. Well, she's not in charge. She's been here six months. She's not in charge. Let's just drag it out. Make her incredibly uncomfortable. I think I got it. Uh, See? 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 See?
Okay. Nine. Uh, Brohard, West Virginia. <laughs> Butternuts, New York. Uh, yeah. Wasn't that your nickname in college, <laughs> Paul? For a few months. Uh, and the last one's uh, Filthy from Alaska, Mary Zigloo. Mm. <laughs> Am I not getting that? I don't get it either. But do you I get that? I, I don't get it. I don't think I want no. it. I don't. Danny, do you get it? No. no. I. Very zigzag. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sure someone will write in into the text segment and let you guys know. Maybe I should say it a bunch more times in case it is offensive and we don't know that it is. Very zigzag. All right. I'll check the internet see if that's you know code for something. I get it. You guys keep going. I don't either. All right, number four. Squishy shoes or squishy slides? They're the ugly shoe trend of the summer. Well, let me see. All right. Like it or not, they're about to be everywhere. This past year, people realized something. They like being comfortable, and some of these shoes claim you'll feel like you're walking on a cloud. Wow. They, so they're like uh, plastic uh, flip-flops. Yeah? Well, yes. They're so. real squishy bottoms. They come in every color, size, price range. There's something for everyone. Yeah. That's what we I'm, need, less formal Crocs. That's yeah. what these are. Boy, I just, uh, I so, feel like I've seen... took Crocs and they were like, how can we make these even worse? Yeah. <laughs> huh. Well, there we go. All right. Uh, okay, number three. Uh, here we go. Uh, this gives whole new meaning to sleeping with the fishes. But you can do it if you'd like. This is the underwater suite at Atlantis, the Palms Resort in Dubai. Mm -hmm. You'll find several locations throughout the suite where you'll be up close and personal with lots of underwater creatures, including sharks. Mm. From the bedroom to the bathroom, if you need more than that, you can also schedule personal scuba dive. But due to COVID, there may be some restrictions on that right now. So does huh. that mean you're actually the the room is actually underwater or are there just tanks by the windows because that's a big yeah, difference for me it is i'm not sleeping underwater i know that's probably mm. surprising but you would sleep above water surrounded by a tank i, I would say not both are a firm no for you but underwater is a firmer no for you mm. correct you know it's like after all this year time you finally know me yeah i feel like you know my soul now ah. Pat. you really yeah. do uh, yeah you know, really wouldn't that once you uncrack that code you, <laughs> yeah <laughs> Because it's pretty, it's pretty consistent. Yeah. 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 Number two, from time to time, we'll take a real letter to an advice column, see if we can help. Oh, good. So, uh, this one is from Dear Carolyn. Uh, it's quite a long letter, but I'm going to get through it here. Yeah, My parents make a strong distinction between married and non married significant others, meaning the former are included in absolutely mm. everything, oh, latter yeah. are excluded from things mm. that are. Family only. Uh, family only. For instance, my sister's husband was invited to and attended my otherwise all-women baby shower, while my boyfriend, now the father of my child, was not invited to our annual holiday vacation. Mom's argument is that being treated like family is one of the benefits of legal marriage. I would like to get married, but realize it's not right for my boyfriend and me at this time. I'm trying to see things mom's way. What are your thoughts? Wait a minute. She wants to get married, but he says it's no, not the she, right thing no, for him they, now. They see. I knew you were going to go that. Well, route. that's how it sounded. She said, "I would like to get married, yeah, yes. but right now it's not the right time for us." For, but she still wants to get married. That means it's she didn't not say the right he time didn't for him. want to get married. She, she didn't said say that. She was trying to be nice because she's no, trying to gloss it over. Am I right, Danny? Yeah. He Don't doesn't want to get she's married. She's 23. She, she knows. doesn't know. That's that's glossing over lingo for saying he doesn't want to get married. It's not right for us right no, now. You're he doesn't inferring. want to get married. I disagree with you 100%. But I, I still think he should be able to come to the party. Okay, we're in agreement I mean, there. But, right? Nah, leave him out. Yeah. I don't if know. he wants I, in, he can take some legal action and get in. <laughs> marry the girl. Otherwise, stay with your own family. And what's the hold up? Right? It's not what? that much fun in the family anyhow. Yeah. You realize that once you're truth. in, you're going to be yeah. like, why yeah. did I make this decision? Now I want to do is get out. Yeah. So just pace yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Let the old lady play her games, and when she kicks off, then you can get involved a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe he's not yourself. getting married because he's saying, I don't want to go to like Dominican Republic with right. nine of these idiots right. for you a week. Right, you get married into that, you like, stuck. let's just keep holding up. That's, you can't go anywhere. You're on an island. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're not going to leave the resort, right? No. no. Well, you know yeah. what? We should really do our own advice yeah, column. We should. We're really good at this. The whole show. And Dan, you're new to this. Guests. Aren't we good at this? I think it's very good. I, I was, yeah. I think we're we should do this on more. This, Dan. 
Um, you know, I think a lot, uh -huh. of, a lot of dudes out there kind of it's put things deal. off just for the sake of putting it off and, and yeah. are scared to make a commitment. Uh, so how, long you know, Mrs. You know. how long you and the missus date before you got married? Uh, we dated for a year and then we were engaged for a year. And yeah, we look got at married. you. What if you're in But the thing is, we were, we started dating, you know, in early 30s, a lot different yeah. than we were. You know. You yeah. know earlier on yeah yeah I'm saying you know you know though it's like you know it's That's not the true. right time I don't know I, I, I tend to think you're That's dodging an something yes you're dodging something. yes Dan thank you the mother-in-law yeah. you're dodging I disagree with you all do you? Did you? Wait, were you no, going you back know, and forth? Though. Were you going did back you? and forth and you didn't no, know? We, I mean, we dated together for nine we were together nine years before we got married health insurance <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's what I know. Say it's a real thing. I wanted to make sure she had health insurance because yeah, she had good insurance. Sure. Yeah. That's how okay. It, just be it's, honest. It's about we her. We knew we were going to get, no, it's not about her. There's always reasons. And, yeah. I don't, and I don't like you throwing this poor guy under the bus, <laughs> saying that it's him to land when you don't know a darn thing. Yeah, no, that's your mouth. Right. I'm just saying, if she asks to ask Dear Carolyn, chances are that she's got oh, another dear point. Carolyn, she's right got a I mean, Carolyn. issues. Then she's thinking about it. She has. She's wondering, so that's why she's writing to dear Carolyn or yeah. us. I wonder she if she probably was writing to us yeah. and used Carolyn as a, a, a decoy, student. thinking yeah. this will get on the morning news and these geniuses will answer it. <laughs> now. Should we do number one before oh, uh, sure. yeah. we get the high yeah. sign here? Number yeah. one, yeah. here's something great from comedian Scott Cease. He's gone viral with his Do You Work Here videos about Ikea. You just lost yourself a customer. You think I own this business? You think I own Ikea? I'm a part-time employee halfway through a two-week notice. I don't give a... I'm telling all my friends not to shop here. Tell them. You think I want five other yous running around the store? <laughs> Have them call me, I'll tell them. You think you hate this place more than me? I work here. <laughs> I know the sale ended last week, but can I still get a discount? Do you hear yourself? <laughs> we can't go backwards. Time marches on. You want the sale from 15 years ago, too? When's it end, Diane? You want that price? You're going to have to go through the quantum realm with Ant-Man. <laughs> you know how much money I spend here? More than you should. <laughs> the meatballs ain't that good. Save your money. End my time. It doesn't matter how much you spend here. We don't thank our donors. This isn't PBS. Every time I come here, my order gets messed up. Then stop coming. <laughs> Make my day. Every time you come here, your order's messed up. Sounds like you're making the mistake. Look inward. You're ordering the wrong. I'd like to speak to your manager. I'd like to speak to your mother. <laughs> Tell her she should be embarrassed. She raised someone to act like a baby in public. You want to speak to the manager, please? The manager doesn't know what's going on. Haven't you ever worked anywhere before? I know that's not right. I used to work here. Well, things change. Sorry they didn't run it by you first. <laughs> to work here. Well, I used to be happy. <laughs> then you walked in. Can you just check in the back? Can you just accept we don't have it? <laughs> goes the back ain't some magical place. Right. You can check out uh, other right. clips to stand up on his social media webpage, and Scott's going to yeah. join us here a week from Thursday. Oh, nice. that's great. Good. That's it. That was a good night.